Well, hello, good afternoon, welcome. Good afternoon. Okay, we'll begin here in about one minute. So be prepared, get ready. Afternoon. Good afternoon, welcome. Let me see. Good afternoon, teacher. Hi, welcome. Welcome. Okay, everyone. Okay, welcome. It's already one o'clock. So, once again, thank all, thanking everyone who is already connected and being punctual, right? Being punctual. Let me. Déjeme tomar captura aquí porque están entrando puntualmente. Let me see. Great. Okay, class, welcome, and it's another day to learn more English, right? So I hope you're ready, be pre being prepared, having maybe reviewed some of the notes. I know a lot of you participate in the, in the platform, but it's very important for you to complete the homeworks in the midterm, okay? I'm going to remind you that by Tuesday, you should have section one, two, and three in the midterm, finished. Okay, ya tienen que tener eso terminado. One, two, and three in the midterm. Right? Now, um, I know some of you might think, well, you have commented ahí en el foro or something. No, that's not the, that is not the, the homeworks que se tome en cuenta. All right? Sí, todo eso se toma en cuenta, pero lo principal, el puntuaje es eh, en las tareas. All right, in the homework that is in the platform. Y ahí le da un numeración de 80% o si llega más a 90, 100%. Ahí ustedes mismos pueden verlos. Okay, now, what is today's day, Ricardo? Today is Wednesday, July 21, 2021. Okay. Casi, almost, right? Okay, let me see. Very good, though. Very good effort. Jessica Carrillo. Hello. Hi. La fecha. Yes, today's date. Mm. Este, oye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember, todos los tiempos los puedo de repente sorprender con la fecha, right? Tuesday. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, Wednesday. Twen, 20. Okay. Wednesday. No problem. Wednesday. Okay, thank you, thank you, Jessica. Pretty good, pretty good. Ahí vamos. Let me see. Nidia. Ah, Nidia, la veo ahí como, no, no, que no me llame a mí. <laughs> uh, no me llame a mí. <laughs> yeah, yeah, la veo ahí. I can see you. Okay, Nidia, tell me. Today's date. Today's, a, today's date is Wednesday, 21, July, 2021. Okay, close, close. 
Okay, but pretty good, pretty good. Move it up, Tammy. Tammy, can you give us today's date? Y luego sigue Carolina, Carolina. All right, Tammy, today's date. Okay, se le froze, your internet froze. Okay, Carolina, today's date. Good afternoon, teacher. Hi, welcome. Today is Wednesday, July 21st, uh, 2021. Very good, very good. That Very good, excellent, excellent. Yancy. Wednesday, 21 July 2021. Okay, Carolina, lo puedes decir de nuevo, Carolina, please, for the class. Today is Wednesday, July 21st, 1st, uh, 2021. Very good, very good. Yancy, una vez más. Se escuchó la compañía de él usted. Wednesday, 21. Mm, okay. We All right. Wednesday. Uh huh. 20. 21 July 20, 21. Ok, cerca, cerca, ok. Aún algunas fallas aquí, pero lo vamos a, lo vamos a mejorar. Let me see. Tatiana. Today's date, please. It's Wednesday, July 21, 2021. Mm, ok, almost, almost, almost. María Fuentes. Ajá. Yes, I see you, Maria. Can you unmute, please? Hello, Maria. Hello. Hello. It's 21. It's nice to <laughs> Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, nice try, Maria. Thank you. Let's try. Let's see, Ricardo. Can you do it again, Ricardo? One more time. Una oportunidad más. Let's see. Okay. Today is Wednesday, July 21st, 2021. Very good. You saw, right? Reconoció ahí. Yes. Okay. Very yes. good. Yes. Number ordinals. Yes. Ordinal number, right? Ordinal. Ordinal number, right? Número ordinal. Very good. Nidia, can you give us today's date, Nidia? Wednesday, July 21st, 2021. Yes, that is correct. That's correct. That is correct. So I'm going to I'm going to share with you the screen. I'm going to share it with you so you can see it, right? Today is Wednesday, July 21st. Okay, remember, esta es la estructura, okay? Wednesday, July 21st, 2021, or 2021, right? Ambas, 2021 or 2021, okay? 2021 or 2021. Remember, día, Wednesday, then the month, luego el mes, then the number, el día de ese, de ese mes, 21st, I said 21, 22, 23, right? But when we say it, when we say it, cuando lo decimos, we say it in ordinal number. Ordinal number. And then the year. Luego el año. Okay? Remember, tomorrow puedo seleccionar algunos y los voy a llamar de nuevo. Okay? Para ver si ya viraron la estructura. No es Wednesday, 21, luego July, luego el año. No. The day, the month, and then the number. Okay? So I hope by tomorrow... And remember, ordinal numbers, okay? Ordinal numbers, okay? Let me see. And what I can do is, I have, para aquellos que quizás diga teacher, pero yo no me sé los números ordinales, right? Or the pronunciation. I will give you, les mandaría algo al grupo, where you can just click, le da el número, cómo se escribe, y el audio, okay? So it can help you, all right? So you can just click on it, y ya, doop, you can hear it. All right, so I will send that to the group, don't worry. Let me see. 
Okay, let's continue. What is the topic, Maria Fuentes? What is the topic for today? No le escucho bien. Se oye algo atrás. Okay. Algo corto. ¿Los demás me pueden escuchar bien? O... Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Me escuchan bien? Sí, escuchan. Ok, the maybe is your connection, Maria. I'm sorry. Ok, let me see. Jessica, can you read the topic, please? Can you unmute? Uh, Activate the microphone, Jessica, please. All right. Yes, no question. Using we. WH. WH words B. From prepositions of place. Very good. That is the topics for today. Yes, no questions using WH words and B. Aquí lo puse en parentheses como el verb to be. All right. Is, are, right, am. And prepositions of place. Preposiciones de lugar. Prepositions of place. And we have the date here. Okay. Today's class number is number five. Class number five. Now, I'm going to stop share here. Let me see. 21st. First. Okay, Carolina. Yes. 21st. Let me see. Hey, you will write it like this. Okay. First. Okay, Carolina, I'm in the chat so you can see it. Okay. Let me share screen and let's go to the audio. Let me see. Okay, we're doing 2.6. And we are going to listen to yes and no in WH using WH words with B, with the verb to be. So I'm going to play the audio so we can listen to it. One, two, three. Where questions would be. We'll start by listening. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes, no, and where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm. No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, we're going to follow the next formula. Verb to be plus this, or in this case could be these, plus some kind of complement. So, Verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that the subject is uh, this or these. Okay, I hope, espero que algunos estén escribiendo esto. Because, ¿por qué? Porque ahorita lo van a hacer en práctica. Okay? So, be ready. So, cuando lo llame, ustedes me van a dar sus propios ejemplos at the end. So, I hope you're taking note. So, let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this, your wallet. We have the verb to be. In this case, happens to be is. And then we're going to use this. The complement in this case is your wallet. And then, of course, we put a question mark there. Um, the other example that you see on the screen, are these your keys? Uh, we have a 
curve to be these your keys and of course we put a question mark at the end let me give a couple of more examples is this your cell phone question mark at the end are these your things in order to answer this type of questions you're typically going to answer with yes it is no it's not if it's plural for example yes they are no they're not now that we understand yes or no questions with B let's explore WH questions with B okay before antes que vayamos con WH WH words okay let's do some of this with just the verb to be sin utilizar WH words so lo vamos a hacer ahorita en breve now we use the verb to be first and then this and these te acuerdas lo practicamos ayer right so esto es progresando como pueden ver con actividad this and then the complement Okay, then a compliment. So fine. So I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to call on someone. Voy a llamar a alguno de ustedes. And then you are going to answer, yes, it is, or no, it's not. Now remember, hay algo importante aquí también. Yes, it is. Esto no se puede contractar. Yes, it is. You can say, yes, it's. No, teacher, pero fíjese que ahí veo que la no dice que se puede contractar. But not in, no cuando está al final. Ok. Yes, it is. No, it's. Ahí sí está contracted. It significa it is. Right? No más que es contractivo. It's not. No, it's not. O puede decirlo. No, it is not. Ok. Ambos. Eh, vaya, para algunos quizás. Están diciendo... Dice que está hablando de él. All right. You have, in short answer, entonces le llaman como respuestas cortas o afirmativas. Yes, it is. All right. No, le voy a poner no, right. No pueden decir yes, it's, así contraction. A eso me refiero. You cannot use this. Esto no se puede hacer, ¿ok? When you're using yes, it is. No más. De esa forma. You cannot contract it at the end. Ahora, in negative, no, it is not, que es igual a, No, comma, no, it's not, okay? So you can contract here. Aquí sí puede haber contracción. ¿Qué significa it is? Okay, es lo mismo, only contraction. But you cannot, nunca lo pueden hacer contraction aquí. Okay, when it comes at the end. Yes? It is. Ahí así nomás puede ir. With negative, sí lo podemos contratar. Okay, I just wanted to clarify that. Okay, now. This is the response. Esto sería como response, la respuesta. De la pregunta. Esta es la pregunta. Ricardo. Ya voy a empezar. Hi, teacher. Hi. Okay, Ricardo, as an example... Is this your mouse? No, it's not. Very good, very good, excellent. Mm. Ricardo, is this your class? Yes, it is. Excellent, very good, very good, yes. Jessica, is this your, is this your pin? 
Not is not. Very good. Let me see. Uh, vamos a ver. Now I want you to be careful here. Okay. Déjame sacar un billete aquí. Jessica, are these, notice, que ya lo voy a cambiar, are these your $20? Si sí, tengo. No, sí, son... no, 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 no. Are these your $20? No, it's not. Mm, ok, cerca. All right. Aquí dice como una boom, right? Let me see. Who can answer me? Nidia, can you help Jessica? Are these your $20? Um, no, it's not mine. Mm, remember, no, short answer. Short answer. Utilizando no or yes. All right? No, they are not. Ah, very good. Excellent. Oh. Excellent. No, they're not. Remember. Teacher. Hay dos aquí. Singular and plural. Singular and plural, right? Is this your wallet? Yes, it is. Cuando es plural, utilizamos el are. El verb to be are. No, they're not. Yo le di nomás una aquí con singular. Pero no le di el plural. Y los agarré como el surprise. All right. So, sure. Yes, Ricardo. Are mine. You fool me. Ya te dije que son del día. They have my name, all right? Remember, when we are using plural, we use are. Are. Okay. Como podemos ver aquí, Jessica, can you do the second one, please? Are these your keys? Dígalo, Jessica. Can you activate your microphone? Are, are these your keys? Keys, keys. Keys. Okay. I, I, this. Okay, no, no, no. Keys. Okay, no, it's I, it's R. Are oh. they, are they, are, are these? Are these? You keys. All right, repeat it again. Are these your keys? Are these your keys? Very good. Mucho mejor, Jessica. Very good. Y hay dos opciones. ¿La puede leer, Nidia? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Very good. Very good. So if I say, are these, are these your notebooks? Carolina? No, no, they are not. Very good. ¿Y si fueran? Yes, they are. Excellent. Very good. That is in plural form. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Now, when we have plural, we use the verb to be are. Okay? Para plur for plural. Remember that. Si es plural, we use are en la respuesta. Yes, and we use let me escribe it aquí. ¿Cómo está aquí? Yes, they are. No, they're not. O lo puede decir de forma completa. No, porque es un... Ok. No, they are not. And remember, siempre se pone una coma after no or yes. And a period at the end. Ok. No, they are not, or in contraction, no, they're not. Así como lo dijo la compañera, all right? Now, for practice, para la práctica, you are going to, I'm going to give you like maybe two, three minutes, and I want you to use singular and plural, singular and plural. All right, see so yes, positive, yes, they are. All right, and then a period. Si es afirmativo, si dice sí. Click en esa tampoco se podría contractar si es afirmativo. 
Sí, yes, yes, they are. Exactamente. ¿Por qué? Porque viene al final. Right? Yes, they are. No. No. Yes, thank you. That's a great question. Yes. Yes, está poniendo atención. Excelente. You are correct. You can't. Ok, you can't. Ok, no se puede. Let me see. Y aquí lo pueden ver también. Pero, good question. Yes, you can't. All right, so now, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Any questions sobre esta parte? All right, so we can continue because now we're going to use WH questions. So I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. And you are going to practice for about two, three minutes. Agarren cualquier objeto que tenga la disponibilidad ahí. Right? Uh, is this for singular? Are these for plural? Si son dos, right? If you have two, you use plural. Now, I want you to select. O puede decir, son estos. Uh, are these lemons? Right? Así nomás para la conversación. ¿Are these lemons? ¿Son estos limones? ¿Are these lemons? Uh -huh. No, they are not. Very no, good. Not. Very good. Así, very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yes, good. Yeah. Is this a pencil? Is this a pencil? Yes, I did. Mm, ¿Es un lápiz este? No. no, it's not. Ah, no, very it's not. good, yes. very good. Remember, pencil is lapis, right? Este es un marcador de, de doble, right? Double color, right? Double color. Marker. Marker. Right? Yeah, it's a marker, right? It's a marker. Okay, that is just for practice. Ready? I want you to speak, all right? I want you to do a little bit of speaking, right? Porque una cosa es escribir y ver y otra cosa es hablarlo, right? So get ready. Can, let me see. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, get ready y practiquen con sus compañeros o compañeras. One, two, three. Enter breakout rooms, please. I'm going to give you two or three minutes so you can speak. So aquí es speaking only. No empiecen a escribir nada. Just speak. Speak, please. Please enter breakout rooms. Remember the structure. ¿Cuál es la estructura? Hello, Ingrid, can you enter breakout rooms, please? No, it's not. Mm. Is this a book? No, it's not. It's a notebook. Mm. Okay, <laughs> very good, Nidia. Yes, very good. Okay, now, además, Gabriela, Gabriel. show something or Nidia, show something. Enseña algo ahí, pregunten. Yes, this very is good. my notebook. Mm. No, no, no. Tiene que empezar con. Verb to be. Is this my notebook? Is this? Okay. This is my no, notebook. No, 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 no. Is Ahí, phone. Recuerda phone. la estructura. Verb to be. Eh, huh? Y luego el this. Y luego. Is this? Ajá, ahí así. My notebook. Excellent. Yes, yes it, is. it is. Very good. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Okay, great job. Continue. Hi, teacher. Hi. Teacher, is this your ruler? No, it's not. Yes, it's <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. There it is, right? Practice, practice. Yes. It is, it is your pencil. Uh, 
Okay. Is this your pet? ¿Cómo? Pet? Is ¿Y? this your pet? Ok, demuéstrelo en la pantalla, please. Es que es una mascota. No ah, si se... ok. Right. <laughs> pet. Pet. Pets. Very good. Ah, okay. Pero se escribe pet con T, ¿verdad? Yes, with a T, yes. Right. Pet. Sin S. Sin S, al menos que tenga varios. Y ahí no, ahí no va a decir is, va a utilizar are. Si son varios. Ah, are. no, ajá, solo de uno. Ah, ah, entonces is. Is it your pet? Pues me. Yes, it ah. is. Okay, welcome back Hi, everyone. Dear. Welcome back. Let me see. Okay, now that was just a little practice, a little speaking activity. Let me see. Let's continue. We're going to follow a similar rule for WH questions. Let me go ahead and put that on the screen. WH word plus verb to be, plus subject, plus complement. The rule is very simple and it's quite similar as making yes or no questions. The only difference is that now we are adding a WH word. So what are WH words? Let me explain. We use WH words to get information from others. For example, who, what, when, where, how, why, are some... Okay, I'm going to ask you, why do we use WH words? ¿Por qué utilizamos las WH words? Porque son para preguntas. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's correct, correct. ¿Qué más? Preguntan algo en específico. Very good, right? Exactly. They ask for extra information. Okay? They ask for extra information. Uno está solicitando más información, right? For example, uh, for example, they say, I went to the store, fui a la tienda. Ah, y con quién? Right? With who, right? Uh -huh. Where? ¿Cuál tienda? Where, right? Which one, right? So you like asking for more information, right? Sacando más, right? That is correct. Hey, why is question me? <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, me Who? Right? <laughs> Who? What? When? Right? What time? Que hora, right? Te llamé y no contestaste. Right? Let me see. <laughs> so, and they're used to ask questions, como lo dijo Adriana también. They are used to ask questions. Let's continue. Some examples of WH words. Now, let's put that rule into practice. If we look at um, the example on the chart, right, we can see the question towards the right hand side. It says, where is your wallet? So if we follow that rule, we're going to put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of complement wallet. And of course, we put a question mark there. Where is your wallet? Where are my keys? How are you today? Why are you hungry? Where is the police station? 
To answer WH questions, you now need to give information. For example, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is, it's in my pocket. And also, all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice making yes or no questions and WH questions. You should answer those questions as well. The more you practice, the easier this topic will become for you. Hi, everyone. Okay. Now, that was the, the end of the video. But I have to think of algo extra about that. Let me share this. Okay, so we did this already, right? So ya lo hicimos lo que acaban de hacer ustedes with the verb to be in, in this and these. But now we're doing WH questions. Now this is a little extra, right? If you want, you can take a captura para que vire el what, que lo que, a que responde el what, que responde el when, el who, where, why, and how. Right? Estos son los WH words que miraron en el audio, en el video, in the video. Now, WH questions. Bueno, yo no voy a leer. Let me see. Um, Carla Martinez. Can you read, please? WH. WH question asks for information. They are different not yes, no questions. Very good. All right? They're a little bit different than yes, no questions. Como los que acabamos de ver ahorita, right? Is this your book? Is this, uh, are these your cars, right? They're, they're just yes and no questions. We're using the verb to be. Here, we are using WH questions for information, right? Extra information. We use what for thing. Cuando nos referimos a algo, thing. When, when we are referring to time, time. Tiempo no necesariamente tiene que ver con qué hora son, right? It has to do with time, como un, un mes o un periodo de tiempo, okay? No necesariamente es la hora, right? Todo referido a tiempo, time. For example, when is, y aquí le he puesto uno, unos ejemplos también, so don't worry. Where refers to place, lugar. Why, reason, right? Una razón. A reason. How? When we use for directions or feelings, sentimientos o direcciones. And I gave you some examples here. Let me see. Francisco, can you do the first one, please? Hi. Hi. Repeat. Can you do the first one here where it says what? What? Uh... What are your no, 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 toes? No. Aquí, pueden ver mi, mi, hold on. Ah, uh, what is that? Excellent, yes, okay. Very good. Okay, ya le voy a poner aquí un guía. Can you see it? Okay, very good. What is that? What is that? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? Right. What is that? No, it is WH. Now. Here's the structure. Aquí está la estructura. La pueden ver. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for you. Can you see it? Much better? Mucho mejor? Okay. We have here WH word plus verb to be plus the subject. Y luego el complement. Remember, no todo lleva complemento, okay? Porque uno puede decir, ¿Quién soy yo? Who am I? ¿Y cuál es el complemento? No hay, right? So, complement normally goes, pero no siempre. Right? No es el 100% que uno tiene que poner. Como aquí, what is that? ¿Qué es eso? Right? That would be the subject, verb to be, and then the WH word. What is that? ¿Qué es eso? And how will you respond? Remember in the video, it's, prácticamente como lo, uh, it's a bear. 
right? It's what? Si yo digo um, that es algo que está lejos, right? But let me change it. If I say, if I say, what is this? What is this? Jessica, what is this? It is a pencil. Mm -hmm. Un lápiz? Uh, marker. Marker. Marker, yes. Right? Now, what is what is this, Jessica? It is a market. Excellent. Marker. -er. Marker. Excellent. Very good. Marker, right? What is this? Respondemos de la misma forma que hicimos anterior. It's a marker. Now, if it's plural, what? Let me see. Francisco. Te miré temprano con unos lapiceros, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Can you put them on the screen, please? ¿Lo puedes poner en la pantalla, por favor, una vez más? No, tenías como dos o tres. Eh, okay, very good. Okay, ahora, haz la pregunta en plural. ¿Qué son estos? What, what is that? Uh -uh, plural. Le dije temprano, el plural utilizamos el are. What, what, are, what are, are these? Are, are these. Very good. These, right? What are these? Pregúntele a cualquiera que... What are sea. these? Ok. Select, seleccione usted a alguien del grupo. De aquí. Seleccione a alguien a la pregunta. Aquí Tatiana. Sea. Ok, very good. Tatiana. What, what are these? Ok, déjeme ver. Tatiana. Can you respond, please? It are a pencil. Mm, okay. And it con el R no, uh, no they van. Are, very good. No van juntos. No se mezclan. Como, como. They, they are a pencil. No usamos el A en singular. Nomás utilizamos el A for singular. No para plural. Okay, vamos a ver. Can someone help her? ¿Alguien le puede ayudar? Vamos a ver. They are pink. Teacher, ¿será your pencil? No. Yes, they are. No. They are pens. Ah, very good. Mire, Carolina. Are a pencil. Mm, ya se equivocó ahí. ¿Alguien? They are a pencil. They mm. are a pencil. They are pens. Ok, ¿quién dijo eso ahorita? It's a pencil. Mm, no. They are pens. Ajá. Pen. Uh -huh. Alguien lo dijo correctamente, pero no. They are pens. ¿Quién dijo eso? Yo, Adriana. Okay, Adriana, very good. They are or there, right? Remember, las respuestas van a llevar it's or there, okay? It's for singular y ahí utilizamos el a. There, no utilizamos artículo a or n porque es plural. Porque él mencionó, él demostró dos lapiceros, right? Francisco, right? You demonstrated two pins, right? Yes. All right. So we use what are these? I'm going to write it. What are these? Are these? Remember, recuérdense, ya miramos el this and these. Y ayer me mandaron eso a, a la, de ejemplos. Recuerda, se les dejé una actividad y pues todos sacaron bien esto. Right? So remember, aplíquenlo. Aplíquenlo. This es plural. This is singular. Singular. All right. So, si alguien está demostrando dos lapiceros, no pueden utilizar el this. Ok. This is, is singular. Acuérdense. Ok. 
these are, ¿qué sería aquí? Plural. Very good, plural, plural, right? Very good. These are is for plural. This is for singular. Y le ponemos, ¿qué le ponemos al this is si es un objeto? A or N. Right? So remember this. We're using WH questions. Okay. Now, when is the party? Cuando la fiesta? When is the party? It's on Monday. Ah, very, very. Uh, repeat it, please. Correct. Repeat it. It's on Monday at 7 p.m. Very good. When is the party? It's. It's. Entonces, ¿cómo sabemos si es it's? Nomás vean la, la estructura de la pregunta. Si ustedes ven el is aquí, es porque es. Vamos a utilizar el it's. Okay. Very good. Very good answer. It's. Y luego da la, el tiempo right? o la fecha. Very good. Aquí es diferente, right? Who is her? Aquí estamos hablando de ella. Who, who is her? ¿Quién es ella? Aquí se la cambió un poquito. She is Maria. Ah, very good. Y esto lo vimos. Who am I, right? ¿Quién soy yo? I am Maria, right? So a little bit of practice from section one. From the first part. Who is her? ¿Quién es ella? She is Maria, all right? Very good, very good. Where, all right, tienen que analizar bien las preguntas. Next one. Vamos a ver, ¿quién puede, quién puede hacer y responder la, where are the new houses? Reto, reto, challenge, challenge. In Santa Ana. Ok, can you read this? Mm, ok, con, con respondiendo con como lo estamos viendo. Ok. They are in San Salvador. Very good. Can you repeat the question, please? Where? Where are the new ha house? Houses. 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 Okay. Ahora la respuesta que me dio correctamente. They are in San Salvador. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Where are? Are. Plural. Where are the new houses? Right. Remember, cuando usan el R en plural, tienen que también respetarlo poniéndole la S o E S. Right. Where are the new house? Houses. Right. Remember to put plural en los objetos también. Okay. Where are the new houses? There in San Salvador, dijo ella. Very good, very good. Why are they here? Why? ¿Por qué están ellos aquí? Why are they here? Esta ya es un poquito más complicada. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either, right? All right. That's a simple answer, right? Yeah, you can say I don't know. Simple yes or no, right? Si quiere decir I don't know, right? No sé nada, yo, yo no sé nada, right? Very good, Jessica, right? Why are they here? They're here. Us. They're here. They are here, right? Ellos están aquí because... Ricardo, they are here. ¿Por qué están aquí ustedes? Why are you here? Right, as a group. They are here or we are here because or we are here to learn what? Uh, because, because, learn English. Okay, to learn, to learn English, right? To learn. To learn. English. Okay, all right. How are you feeling today? Acuérdense de que el how representa eh, sentimientos o direcciones, right? How are you feeling today? How are you feeling today? Are you I'm responder? happy. Okay, I'm happy, okay. Very good. Anyone else? How are you feeling today? I'm shy. I'm shy, right? Tengo pena, okay. Anyone else? I'm hungry. I'm hungry, right? I'm hungry, right? It's about time to go eat. So this is how 
you use WH questions or WH words, así es como se utilizan WH words, para pedir más información, como pudieron ver, eh, tengo hambre, right? estoy pidiendo más información, right? I'm asking for more information when we use the WH words, okay? You can take this, le pueden tomar captura si quieren, and you can have it, okay? Let me go to the next part. Let me see. Okay. Now, we have here, this is something simple. This is algo más simple. These are prepositions. Prepositions. Now, aquí les puse una extra. All right. Prepositions in the platform is, is pretty much, bueno, le voy a poner el video para que lo vean. Uh, it's very short. Let me see. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one, where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? We can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers, just like we did a minute ago. Then I want her to describe the location of different objects. Okay, here we need to understand the prepositions. Okay, prepositions del lugar, prepositions of place. Now here they're not that many; they're only like six. But in it basically está dentro, dentro de la caja. In front of. What is in front of? Enfrente de. In front of. Behind. Detrás de. Okay. Detrás de. So remember that. Espero estén anotando porque les voy a dejar una pequeña actividad. All right. And then on. Sobre. Como decimos, encima, right? Sobre. Sobre la caja o sobre la mesa. Next to. Next to. A la par de. Next to. Under. Debajo de. Ok, como pueden ver ahí. Debajo de. Under. Debajo de. But. In this. Les tengo una extra. I'm going to give you an extra one. Let me see. Okay, I'm giving you an extra one. As you can see here, between, between, esa no estaba ahí, pero yo se la voy a dar. Between, que es between, en medio de, o entre, o entre right? right? Between, between. So we have in, on, under, behind, in front of, between.
the one that is not here, la que no está aquí, ¿cuál es? Next to, right? A la par de. Next to. And the, tomorrow, you are going to give me some examples when we start the class tomorrow. Cuando iniciamos la clase mañana, me va a su propia. But for practice, let's, let's do this. Okay? Um... No, no les dejaría tarea hoy en la clase. All right, so we're just going to practice here. Look at the pic. No, no voy a leer yo. Let me call on Adriana. Can you read, please? Mm, can you unmute, please? No le escuchamos, puede. Okay. Sorry. All right. Sorry. Look at the pictures. Fit and choose the correct option. Okay. So you're going to look at these pictures, right? As you can see, there's a cat and a bird, right? Hay un gato y un pajarito, right? A cat and a bird. And for example, there are six here. So you have six options. I say six opciones. <clears throat> and let's do the first one together. La primera. The cat is under box. Okay, very good. Under el gato está debajo de la caja, right? It's under the box. Very good. So you can put the cat is under the box. Okay. Let me see number two. Number two. Um voy a llamar a alguien que no ha escuchado. Let me see. Eduardo. Andrade. Can you read number two, please? Um, Redoing. Huh? Uh, que sigue, donde nos quedamos. Uh -huh. Between. Okay, next, uh, okay, let me see. Who wants to participate? Alguien que está, que puede participar para the bear continuar. Is, Very good. Okay. The bird is between the boxes. Very good. The bird is between the boxes. Between, right? Between the boxes. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you. Ahora, Carolina, seleccione a un compañero o compañera, please. Y continuemos. Um. Cualquiera, cualquiera. Nomás elección un nombre ahí, que es el primero que le venga. Ingrid del Carmen. Ok, Ingrid. Do the next one, please. La que sigue. Hi. 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 Sí. It is in the box. Come on, repeat, please. The cat is in the box. Excellent, excellent. Good job. Hola. Yes, perfecto. Very good, Ingrid. Thank you. Eso es. The cat is in the box. In the box. Thank you, Ingrid. Ahora, Ingrid, seleccione a alguien, please. Select someone, please. Okay, let me see. Okay, voy a hacer el micrófono, Ingrid. Okay, let me see. Ya, ya uh, Christian, can you do the next one, please? Uh, Carla, okay. Uh, the bill is on the box. On the box. Mm, de esa ya la hicimos, right? right. The cat right. is behind the box. Okay. ¿Quién dijo eso? Yo. The cat, the, the, the cat is behind, 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 behind the box. Okay, very good, Jessica. The cat is behind the box. Okay, let me see. Can you do the next one, please, Danubia? Can you activate your microphone, please? 
The bird is on the box. Very good. The bird is on the box. Very good, Danubia. Excellent. Let me see. Ricardo, can you do the last one, please? Okay. Um, the cat is in front of the box. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. The cat is in front of. In front of the box. Very good. Very good. Now I'm going to call on someone. Que me dé las six prepositions que están allí. Eduardo, can you give me, Eduardo Andrade, can you give me the six prepositions that are here? In, on, under, 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 yes, behind, very good, in front of, very good, in, between okay between 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 excellent good job eduardo excellent sos very good very good now for tomorrow para mañana estén listos con esta y listas con esta preposition why porque quiero que me den ejemplos aquí en sus cámaras algo que está como detrás like jessica right digamos jessica como ejemplo right Jessica. So I'm going to use this as an example. La puerta está detrás de Jessica. Alguien me puede decir? Can somebody tell me? The door. The door is behind. Mm -hmm. Jessica. Okay, behind Jessica. Jessica. No necesario poner el D. Jessica, nombre propio. Very good. Very good, Tammy. Yes, that is correct. The door is behind Jessica. La puerta está detrás de Jessica. Very good. Very good. So tomorrow I'm going to ask you, y va a dar como un ejemplo, right? Like, for example, you're going to put like a notebook, y va a decir, the pin is on the table. The pen is on the desk. Si tiene un escritorio allí. Okay? Behind, on, in. Puede poner algo dentro de algo. Al detrás de. In between. So you're going to give me some examples propios tomorrow. Okay, class. We are pretty much finished. Okay? And I see you tomorrow. Be ready. Be prepared so we can continue. Y con eso iniciaremos la clase mañana. Okay? We're speaking. So thank you for joining. Have a great afternoon. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Good see job. See you, teacher. See you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye. 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 See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.